Here's how I can make this Chrome text in Blender and Illustrator. So I'm gonna start in Illustrator and I'm gonna go with this typography as a reference. And this was originally customized from the Estrella typeface. It's a free font you can download. I'm gonna leave a link in the description and I'm gonna select this text and recolor it to gray so I can see what I'm doing. Let's go to the 3D materials, select inflate, it decrease the depth to zero and click on inflate both sides. From here, let's go to the asset export. If you don't have it, you can go to the windows and select the asset export. And here all you need to do is just drag and drop the text into the asset and make sure to export it as an OBJ file. Click on export, select your location and click on select folder. Now let's go to blender, press shift plus A and I gotta go to the mesh, select the plane and this is going to be the background. I'm also going to scale it. And now I'm going to go to the folder where the OBJ file is. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to select the OBJ file and drag and drop into Blender. Click on import and here is the text. I'm going to scale it down and let's go to the object here and I'm going to go and reset the X rotation to zero. So it's going to stay flat and I'm going to bring it a little bit above the plane. And now I'm going to set up the HDRI environment. Let's go to world. Click on the color and select environment texture. And here we're gonna click on open and I can select this HDRI. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description where you can download these HDRIs for free. Click on open image. And I'm gonna go down here to the corner. So when the arrow is gonna transform into this cross, I'm gonna drag it and split the screen in half. And here I'm gonna activate the viewport shading. So basically this is how it's gonna look with lights. I'm also gonna set up the camera, press shift plus A, and select the camera, and bring it on the top. Let's go to the object, and I'm gonna reset to zero, zero, and zero. From here, I'm gonna activate the camera view, and I'm gonna bring it a little bit more up, so it's gonna zoom out. And now we're gonna create that Chrome. Let's select the text, and let's go to materials. You're gonna to need to delete all the materials, so I'm gonna click on the minus. So you're gonna to need to be left with one single material, and I'm gonna go to the metallic, increase it to 100% and decrease the roughness. The more you decrease, the more reflections you're gonna get. By the way, you also can rotate the HDRI light. So I'm gonna go here to the timeline and bring it up. And I'm gonna change the timeline. And I'm gonna go to the shader editor, change the object to world. I'm gonna press shift plus A here, type in mapping, enter, place it here, press shift plus A again, and search for the texture coordinate. Enter, place it here. Let's connect the vector with vector and we're gonna connect the generated to vector. And now you can go here to the rotation X, Y, Z and this way you're gonna rotate the HDRI. Something like this. I'm also gonna go to the renderer and activate the cycles and select the GPU compute to make it look more realistic. And pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching.